Now, I would consider myself a guy who likes weird guitars. For example, I have not one, but two guitars with reverse bodies. But my love for strange six strings has its limits. There are guitars out there that go beyond the world of weird into the world of cursed, horrible abominations. And that's what we're looking at today. And to kick off this cursed guitar countdown, check out this bar rashy Gittler. Now, to my eye, this looks like somebody took a piece of scrap wood, tied fishing line to it for frets, attached strings, added a shoestring for a strap, and called it a guitar. And what really takes us into the realm of cursed is the fact that every one of these guitars that I've come across is more expensive than my car. And granted, I don't have a very expensive car, but $13,000 for this? You fucking kidding me? Next up, have you ever touched some fellow's throbbing arm and said to yourself, hey, I really wish my guitar neck was like that. I came across the swollen veiny arm like guitar neck on my new favorite subreddit r slash curse guitars and can only imagine what kind of person came up with this absolutely cursed abomination okay how about this one uh what are the two most annoying guitar maintenance tasks that a guitarist will ever have to deal with i would say that it is restringing a floyd rose and restringing a 12 string this guitar forces you to do both of these at the same time and I can imagine if you owned a 12 string with a Floyd Rose, you would need to plan restrings around long weekends because I'm telling you, you're gonna spend more time dealing with this than it takes to build a deck. And that takes a long weekend. I can only imagine that whoever bought this has some issues with self-loathing. And what even is the payoff? You can do dive bombs with the 12 string. No one needs to do that. God help whoever owns this. Check out this one from the Reverb Files. This famous 12 string looks like a Michael's Craft Store threw up on a guitar center. And apparently that's worth $10,000. Just truly awful on all fronts. Cheap guitar, tacky art. And listen, I know inflation is out of control, but 10,000 for this, come on. I would personally need to be paid to have this guitar in my house because you know those glitter sparkles are getting absolutely everywhere. Now, if these guitars are making you feel a little bit unwell, I would recommend that you spend some time with your beautiful guitars. And hey, when you're doing that, maybe you want to learn an in-depth system that will take your music to the next level. And good news for you, the Back to School sale is now on over my course platform, SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. Over there, I've got five courses that offer a deep dive into the method I use for making music. If you want to understand the building blocks of music theory and how it works for guitar, my course is The Rudiments and Beyond the Basics have got you covered. I've also got two courses that look specifically at soloing. The Craft of Soloing looks at phrasing and music storytelling, while my newest course, The Style of Soloing, is look at the fancy stuff you can add to your solos to really bring them to life. Everything over there is professionally animated to make the tough stuff easy to understand and for a limited time you can use promo code back to school 22 to get any individual course half off or use that same promo code on either of the bundles to get two courses for the normal price of one. Actually, come to think of it, the theory bundle has three courses so for that one you would get three for the price of one. Um, anyways, links as always in the description. Find more information at samuraiguitar3.com Let's get back to it. All right, next up, there's just no way that I can show you this guitar because my video would get age restricted, but this is one that's been making its way around guitar forums for years. I have no idea why it exists, but one day a luthier woke up and said to himself, you know what? I want to make a guitar that looks like a big old cockatoos are one of my favorite birds. Eagles are also pretty cool, but I've never felt like I wanted a sculpture of an eagle hacked into a flying V. I've also never wanted a horse carved into a Telecaster, or how about this one, Mount Rushmore on a bad trip cut into a Les Paul. Oh, and by the way, all of these are $2,000. Oh, how about this one? Kind of makes me feel seasick. Uh, it's multiple tellies in one. All right, what's the deal here? It is a vintage 51 telly, one of the holy grails of guitars, but it was heavily modded back in the day. Uh, Apparently, according to the description, session guitarists would rig up these with three sets of pickups and then run them out to different amps so you could do one take and have three completely different tones. I guess that's kind of a cool idea. It's still completely horrible looking and for $80,000, I'm gonna need a better pitch than Bruce Springsteen's guitar was once set up like this. Like, what do I care if the guy doing klezmer covers of Born in the USA had a guitar like this one. You ever wanna live in a guitar? No, me neither, but somebody did. This house listed on Realtor is designed to look like a guitar. And if the architect was using a guitar made of cardboard boxes and rubber bands as inspiration, then he absolutely nailed it. And this house is a complete mess as well. The siding is falling off, it's pretty dilapidated, and look at the kitchen, no cupboards, no appliances, but you do have a sink with a bunch of exposed plumbing. And nearly $800,000, this is just a case of awful taste meets 
awful execution. Oh, how about this? Do you know that Gibson makes a reversed reverse flying V? Man builds guitar out of dead Uncle Skeleton, uses it to play black metal. So that's pretty hardcore and it might literally be cursed. However, I'm reading this article here that says the Florida man who did this is a known hoaxer, so it likely isn't real. Oh, that's too bad. Why do so many of these kind of stories seem to come out of Florida? Floridians, tell me what's going on here. Okay, so I was Googling around to see if anyone had ever done anything completely horrible to one of my favorite guitars, the Gibson ES-295. I did in fact find one that's been refinished. However, I love the color of this. This is an absolute beauty. We are taking a break from cursed guitars to cleanse the old palettes with a blessed guitar. Ooh, here's an ultimate guitar thread showing off some of the worst modifications ever done. So this lad decided to add as many strings <laughs> as he possibly could to this guitar and then never ever change them. You're gonna need a tetanus shot if you ever set foot in the same room as this. Assuming this one doesn't electrocute you, this is actually pretty punk rock. But getting electrocuted by your bass is also pretty punk rock. Imagine yourself in this scenario. You and your buddies have a canoe trip planned in Northern Ontario. However, you just remembered that last year you lost your paddle upstream after too many Molsons. You take a look over at your gold top Les Paul and an idea starts to form in your head. I think what offends me most about this one is that there's no way that this guy rigged up a proper trim system in this. The force of the springs and the thin classical body just wouldn't work together. So the trim arm in all likelihood is just screwed into a hole doing nothing. This is a case of DIY, did anybody think this was a good idea? And last for today, we've got the Pizza Hut guitar, a rare promotional guitar that looks like a pizza, and this cursed monstrosity once taught me a very valuable lesson. I need to be more careful about what my dumbass says online. A while back, Reverb shared an Instagram post of this guitar, and I thought to myself, you know, people know me as that guy who likes weird guitars. It would be funny if I left the comment, I bought this, when in fact I didn't. So I left the comment, a couple people liked it, I thought to myself, hey, all in a day's work, good Instagramming Sammy G. The next day, there were a bunch of articles written about how I bought this greasy deep dish six string. And now there is a pizza me that thinks that I need to be a little bit better behaved and watch what I say. But there's also another pizza me that thinks it's absolutely hilarious that the most press I've ever gotten was about buying a Pizza Hut guitar that I didn't actually buy. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Those are a bunch of horrible cursed guitars. Remember that the Back to School sale is now on over my course platform, SamuraiGuitarTheory.com. Use promo code BACKTOSCHOOL22 to get any individual course half off or use that same promo code on the bundles to get a bundle for the normal price of one course. You can find more information in the description. SamuraiGuitarTheory.com will also take you there. Thank you all for watching. To check out another video like this one, hit that link up there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and stay tuned for a wide range of musical content. An extra big thank you to everyone who supports my channel through Patreon. Get that sweet, sweet Sammy G merch over at ShopSamuraiGuitarist.com. And I think that's all I have to say. So until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, look after the planet. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I'll see you again soon.